Greetings, Greg here again with another video helping you transform businesses, helping you transform lives. In this video, we're going to take a look at many-to-many -many relationships within Odoo. And like always, please subscribe, please click the like button on this video and the notification so you can find out when I release new videos. So in this video, we're going to jump in and right away we're going to see how to create many to many so in the previous video i showed uh, about the conceptual concepts on learning odoo uh, many to many relationships now we're going to see how to actually create them and it's going to be remarkably easy uh, it's not going to be hard for people that have uh, followed up to this point and understand the many to one and also understand the one to many Again, I'll have links below for all those if you're needing to catch up to this. So what we're going to do is in this many-to-many -many relationship, what we're going to do is we're going to jump back to our many-to-one example, and I'll link to that above. And in our many-one example, I'll pull it up here, we have order inspector, and uh, we added this the sales order for a business example in which we just had a company that before the sales order ship we want to have an inspector. They just want to put it on the sales order. And there's a zillion and a lot of other better ways to do this with an Odoo. <clears throat> but this is a, kind of a practical example of someone who just wants something simple that uh, they can put the order inspector on the sales order. And in this case, pick who uh, the order inspector is. Now, the, the limitation here is you only get to pick one order inspector. And if we did, and that's because it's a many to one. And if we did a one to many, we could only have this particular order inspector. We could have multiple order inspectors, but they would be assigned only to the sales order. So that's what a, a one to many would do. If, if we change this into a one to many, we could still add multiple order inspectors. But once we added, say, Joel Willis to this order, we couldn't add Joel Willis to another order because it would be a one to many. Now, with a many to many, we can add, we want to be able to add multiple order inspectors to the same order. So an example would be <clears throat> large company, there's multiple inspectors and they, they can't just have one person. <clears throat> they need to know everybody that may have inspected this order. So let's change this from being a many to one, um, or I'm sorry, yeah, many to one is what it is now. And if we mouse over it uh, in the bug mode here, it'll tell us that it's a many to one right now. And its relation is to res users. Now we're going to create a many to many on it, and, but it's still to res users. We just want to be able to pick from multiple res users and assign multiple res users as order inspectors here in the document. So let's bring up our code. We'll bring it up here and look at, uh, this is from the other uh, example. So we'll just focus on the one up here. So this is our many to one example that's making it work right now. And we have a many to one to res users and we're labeling order inspectors. We can fix this by just coming in here and changing this to say many to many. And we'll remove this because that won't work with a, a mini to mini and with a mini to mini you can get away just well like you could with a mini to one but in this case you can get away with a mini to mini just having the model you want to make the connection to and now what I would do typically is put an S on here so that when you look at this in anything you see inspector IDs we know there's the potential for many here and then we need to change our views by jumping over here and add the S to there. Now that'll be enough to get it to work from a, a, a technical standpoint. So I'll restart and at that point we've implemented a mini to mini and it's going to let us now if we shift refresh this we will now have the opportunity to add multiple inspectors here but the view isn't going to be exactly great. So notice here we have inspector it says here and it's listing them so it's working like we can actually have multiple ones and we come in here and add and we can pick from all the potential inspectors we can pick all three and select and now they're there and hit save and there it is now you know like I said the the presentation isn't great it's just given us a default list view for this mini to mini but fortunately uh, there's a, a nice little widget that makes this really nice and you've seen it 
Now you're going to get to see how to create it. I'm sure if you've used Odoo, you've seen it. So you say widget many to many underscore tags. And now I'm going by memory here. So let me just show you if I got confused, I think I already looked this up once just to make sure. Yeah, what I would do is search for many equals quotes many and search. And now look here in my code, how many examples of many to many's I, I get uh, using this widget. So anytime you have confusion about syntax, the easiest way you know, if I need to see a widget, I could actually just search for widget equals like this. And now it's going to basically give me a list of all the different widgets um, with codes. So I can actually click on these and see, okay, this is a widget. There's actually a res underscore partner underscore mini to one widget. That's how you find these things out is searching through these codes. And here's the one we're looking for. They're using it right here, mini to mini underscore tags. So I just wanted to give you that little hint, but there, we're ready to go, and if we restart now, just like this. I mean, that's pretty quick when you think about it, how fast we were able to switch over from having a mini to one to having a mini to mini, a functional app. Um, it's going to do just what we expect. So I can come here and hit edit, and we can remove inspectors, or we can click here and add inspectors back in. So it's everything is what you would expect, and save. Now, it says inspector here still which we might uh, not want it to say that so we would come in here um, and uh, we we could change this to say inspectors I believe by doing a string equals inspectors and we'll restart now if I'm wrong that's where we'll look at these many to minis and make sure I got it right, but we'll see. And we'll see here that now the field is labeled inspectors instead of just inspector. So you can label any field you wish by using this string attribute. Makes it really uh, clear where before we were using and just passing along inspectors or the name of it like this. And with a mini to mini, that's going to break it. Um, because the, the order matters uh, if you don't specify the attributes. So this is just a cleaner way to define a mini to mini. You pick your model and that's it. Hopefully for everyone, and we'll see here, actually you'll notice the difference. Let me just mouse over this so you can see that now it shows this obviously as a mini to mini instead of a mini to one. So hopefully for everyone, this is super, super simple. If uh, you know you have any questions, please click below. But this gives you basically six videos in this list where you have a mini to one, learning about it and creating it, a one to many, learning about it and creating it, and finally this one is the final of the series of learning about mini to minis and now how to create mini to minis. So this gives you a really core cool understanding of how you build up the architecture in the models underneath your Odoo apps and helping you understand the way these applications are fit together. So I would say this is still very much 101 Odoo development. If you want to become a master Odoo developer, become a, a real Odoo uh, expert, please consider my Mastering Odoo Development course. I have a link to it below. And uh, for a limited time, this is getting near uh, the beginning of July, but um, uh, for another uh, week or so, I'm gonna definitely be offering this uh, with a discount uh, because I'm adding new modules. I'm gonna be introducing a new mobile toolkit. It's gonna be really exciting uh, here in the next month. A lot of the new content I'm gonna be pushing into that course. So. I want to thank everyone for watching and supporting my channel and I, I sincerely am trying to add something for everyone where I can have some free uh, videos like this for people uh, that are just maybe trying to get started. But uh, if you're serious and you're actually implementing these systems for real businesses and trying to make profits in companies for it, I, I highly encourage you to you know, get some uh, consulting, get some developer coaching. If not from me, get it, get it from someone else who's done you know, at least eight to 10 Odoo uh, implementations and uh, across different industries. It's just really too much to do all by yourself uh, and, and to try to just do it with YouTube videos. Uh, 
uh, as great as I think my YouTube videos are, you, you don't want to rely on them solely when you're building uh, your business. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.